With record-setting Black Friday and Cyber Monday sales, people are shopping and retailers are hiring from the uh, powdery slopes of Colorado to, well, the Golden Arches. There are seasonal jobs still available for all of you. It's Tuesday and it is time for where the jobs are always dreamed of wanting to be a ski bum. Well, guess what? Here is your shot. Vail Resorts is looking for help. Not only do you get a job, but a little extra Benny here, you get a free ski pass. Tracy, what do you say? I think it's awesome. And you know what? There's a lot of opportunity within the company. Okay, so they're only hiring on the Six Mountain Resorts, but they also have properties in the Dominican, in warm places, too, if you happen to not be a cold-blooded person. So there's opportunity in the company. I would like to be a water ski instructor. Please. Well, let me tell you something. Everybody loves to go out to these fancy resorts out there. I have a dear friend of mine that's going to Vermont for the holidays to go skiing, and she even said, look, that's not like the same thing out there in Vail. Everybody's going high demand, great place to go to work. Well, what's interesting is that they've only got 1,750 jobs available, guys. They hire about 13,000 a season. So they had all that return. And then just a few new positions. Yeah. Right. So some, yeah. They must, somebody likes it, I guess. There you go. Um, what about Sterling Jewelers? Uh, they, they own K Jewelers. Uh, they own uh, Jared Jewelers. And then they also have, it's, it's the Jared the Galleria. And they've also got some regional jewelry, jewelry stores. Every kiss begins with K. Listen, these commercials are great. <laughs> Santa Claus is there. Everybody's a sucker. They're going to buy their significant other some jewelry. I'm telling you, over and over and over, they always do it. Tracy, you're looking at me like I'm again, crazy the face, again. The Tracy <laughs> So you know it's like, true, what? and they're going there. Revenues are up. Go there to work. You'll probably make a couple of bucks. <laughs> Don't you want a nice necklace this season? I'm not a jewelry person. That's why I'm making faces at him. I think I'd rather the cooked turkey from Whole Foods. But I think, to Todd's point, they're in the malls, too, and the malls are busy, so they're going to benefit from the traffic. That's right. All right, let's move on to GameStop. Uh, let's see what Tracy thinks of this one, at least, at least what her kids think about this one. Uh, they are hiring uh, They they hiring, They are hiring 19,000 seasonal employees for the holidays. You get a discount, sales associate software engineers. Tracy, the, the store itself was saying that they believe that it's not just the kids coming in that want games, but older adults that play video games. You think that's true? It's totally true because yeah. a lot of them are inappropriate for kids. I will say I am in this store just as much as I am in the food store, not Whole Foods. And these <laughs> kids are knowledgeable. They know what they're talking about. I think it is a great gig for a video gamer of all ages. Absolutely. Great growing segment yeah. of, the, of the economy, especially when you start thinking about the older generation as yeah. well as the younger generation, the kids. They love these games. Great place to work. You like the stock, though, Todd? I do like the stock. Look, anything that's going to have to show a growth uh, component, that's what I'm always looking for. And you think of these kids. Look, I got a six and a five-year-old, and all they do is play these video games, too. It drives me crazy. But, but they know it. They understand it. And, and when you think about that growth, you have to think about the next generation. That's a company. The challenge a for a GameStop, though, is to have the games the kids want. And yeah. that has been a challenge over the last couple of years because yeah. the, the gamers have not been coming out with new stuff. You're well, right. When I was a kid, guys, I watched way too much television. And look what happened to me. And, you know, <laughs> cautionary tales. You didn't play Atari? We played Atari. <laughs> Space Invaders. Oh, the last one's, um, this one you know. This one you all know very well. And I can't give you specific numbers, but there's a lot of turnover at McDonald's. And believe it or not, there's always jobs available at McDonald's. Depending on what you do, normally they need cashiers, schedules across the board. One thing I found interesting about this one, guys, 50% of McDonald's owner-operators actually started behind the counter. And these are now the franchise owners. That's a, that surprised me. It's fantastic, and McDonald's is really good at doing this. And I actually know people that went from that same place to now two, three, and four yeah. different franchises. They have made careers and wealth for families. They are the best in the business at actually taking their own talent from the very yep. beginning and at getting them to have, be a franchisee. And that is huge. It's crucial. I love McDonald's just because of the profit margins. I love yep. the stock. But from a company's perspective, as the way they take care of their employees, a great place to start out. And you never know where you're going to live. They also told us that their that their diversity initiatives are very important to mm -hmm. them overall as a company, and I think that that shows uh, across the country, across the world, right. I guess, if you will. And they are a global company. So. Yeah, listen, McDonald's is one of those one of those companies that's not going away anytime, anytime, and probably in, in the next 20 generations. You look for a growth company, you want to be a part of that. That's where you want to go, and obviously, the stock is sensational. Yeah, so. yeah, and the salads aren't bad, guys. Thank you very much. Well, coming up next. A